Okay, so we're looking at a Warsan LED work light. It's rechargeable. It has a magnetic base and it has several modes. It has a light that goes straight out the end and then it has the work light that's more of a floodlight off the front and it can be two different brightness levels for each of those light functions. You can see there it has a pivoted leg that, let, that pivots out if you want to set it on a table. It also has a hook if you want to hang it. Uh, versatile light, well made, solid. They don't publish the run times on the light, but I ran it for over an hour and it ran fine. So I think the run time should be fine. This is something that you're going to have in your car. And if unfortunately you get a flat tire like a buddy of mine did the other night, you know, in the middle of the night, you need a work light. If something else fails on your vehicle and you need a work light, there are just a lot of scenarios where you need something like this and you don't want to use your cell phone for something like this because you end up breaking the screen on your cell phone. You'll drop it on the ground, you know, whatever. Also, you don't want to run that battery down on your cell phone when you might need that in an emergency situation. So I always recommend having a light that you use for EDC and for these kinds of work purposes and not try to use the cell phone for that. So this one works good. It has a nice beam to the, this is the beam out the front. It has a nice reach to that beam. And then the, the light on the side is more of a flood. So now I've got it, I'm gonna turn it into the flood. Yeah, there's the, there's the flood mode. And, and that kind of floods the whole area, which is what you want when you're working on something. You, 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 know, you don't want a really concentrated beam. So a good mix of two different types of beams it also has the um, flashing red and blue lights in, in case you want to set it by the side of the road as a warning. Uh, so it has some good functionality. It even has a um, pointer function where, where it has a laser pointer. So you can turn that on and use that for, for a purpose. So just a versatile, compact little tool. See, there's the pointer that uh, really is a nice package. And it charges with USB-C. So no problem charging it. And it's only around $20 so US here in, in the US. So affordable. I, I definitely would have one of these in the glove box. I think that's a good idea. And uh, just a little peace of mind. And by the way, also have a tire repair kit. A buddy of mine had a flat tire the other day. He was pulling a trailer and it took him hours to sort that whole situation out. If he'd had a tire repair uh, kit, he could have plugged that tire right on the side of the road. So two big thumbs up. I, I kind of like this light, and I think that uh, it's a good addition to any kit. Uh, comes with everything you need to get started and should hold up fine. So let me know what you use as an emergency light. What do you carry around in your glove box? Do you have an emergency light? Those four indicator lights there, by the way, tell you how much battery charge there is. Two thumbs up for this light.